All right, let's just, let's get into this uh, Schoolboy Q Blue Lips album. So, fucking right into it. What did y'all get from the album? First listen, like, what, what's your first thoughts on it? I was like, whose mouth did they use? Yeah, <laughs> is that that's what we start in the album cover? We go to the album cover. That shit is. I mean, if we go step by step, I saw the artwork and I was yeah. looking. I was like, "All right." Well, you hey, you hey, you you fuck with it because of the gap tee? On oh, top, <laughs> I, I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay. is it, I don't know. Hey, I don't know if that's where you were going with it. It, it wasn't. Hey. A shot. It wasn't hey. a shot. Hey. <laughs> it was, hey. Well played, Eddie. Well played. I will say the gap community appreciated. Appreciated yeah, that album yeah. art. It wasn't as big. It could have been a little wider though. Yeah, show some <laughs> real love. I feel like that shit is crazy wide. I don't know. I, it, it did what it did though. It, it did, did what it was it, supposed to do. Shock value. It, it's unmistakable. It it is kind of a it is kind of like weird though when you're playing the music in your car and then it's just that big ass mouth on the on the phone. <laughs> and it just keeps moving and it's just like it's almost like it's too big it's just like bro come on yeah yeah nah but yeah it it did what it did like oh now you can actually did yeah. big as hell yeah. Not, yeah that gap is crazy yeah yeah that's that's love to the gap community for sure you think there was like somewhere and there's like hey who got the who got the most fucked up mouth come here <laughs> put this on <laughs> put this blue lipstick on. <laughs> like hey Come here, cuz. Really? I get that. Uh, I do yeah, think. Yeah. I do think this is his. Um, I do think this is the his third best album, though. Third, third, third. yeah. I think this is a third. I mean, think about. It. I think it, it's better than Crash Talk. Yeah. I, um, I think. I think it's higher. Yeah. That, oh, you think it's higher? Okay, I'll I think it's second. That. I think it's second. Say, second, third. I don't fuck with it. Like, is it better than Oxymoron? I don't think so. I personally do think so. I went back and listened to Oxymoron, and there's some classics on there, but I think overall, I think Blue Lips is better. Because what he has six albums total. Um, yeah. If we're going back to habits and contradictions and setbacks, yeah. I think to me, I I think I like Oxymoron, and and here's the reason why I like Oxymoron better. I think my only knock. My only, and this is not a big knock. This is just like a, like a subtle knock. I fuck with the features better on Oxymoron than I do on Blue Lips. And I think the only knock on this album was the features. I didn't get no J-Rock. I didn't get no Reason, no SZA, and which is cool. It's not bad. It's not that it's a bad thing, but it would have yeah. been dope to get a little bit like, like I think the, I think my knock on the album is ever so slightly because I thought the album was great. And I gave, I gave the album a, uh, eight and a half out of ten. Um, okay, but 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 like that's I like not, that's a fair that's a fair. Assessment. But that's but that's honestly honestly when it comes to the album that's literally my only knock. I wish I would have gotten a little bit more TDE. Um, uh, and then I I love I love uh Freddie Gibbs has just been on the tear, bro. Yeah. Like for real, for real. Like yeah. he's just been on one, and and the song with the song what is it called? Uh, not foe. Um. Oh my gosh! What's the name of the song on the album? You're talking about with, with Freddie or Ohio uh, with Ohio? Yeah, yeah, with yeah, Ohio. Ohio. Man, that's like probably like my my favorite song on the album. Like, I absolutely love that that song, and I think like I, I like at first it kind of was a little bit worrisome that the the album was so long, but then like once you listen to it, it's like he transitions from like different like phases on the album, and then. Like the last five, six songs on the album is a combination of the first and the second half. Yeah. Um, um, I love like how he spoke. I love how he spoke on uh, uh, the song Germany, Germany 86, I believe it was called. Yeah. Uh, you know, where, that's where he was born, you know, uh, and he spoke on it with like, you know, uh, with his mom and, you know, just growing up. I love that he put that in there. Um, I love the beat switches on almost every song. It's kind of like, I don't know if like that's kind of where hip hop is going, where, you know, the whole like little Travis Scott formula where, you know, you start off slow and then you switch it up. So I love how every the production was really on point. 
um, the Ab Soul song, top three song on the album. He had a lot of amazing and great songs. He had no bad songs on there, basically, or not even medium songs. They were all amazing, great, and a couple of good ones. So, I mean, it's a great album, man. I, I really, it's hard for me to put it above Oxymoron only because of the features, but it's 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 a really, really well done album with very limited promotion or very limited promotion. Uh, I feel like I don't, I don't listen to much radio, but I still feel like I'm not hearing it on the radio as much. I don't know what, I don't know if that's just me just not listening to it, but I mean, the project is really, really well done considering the fact that it's like 18 songs deep. So I just love the transition from, from beginning, middle and end to it. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like really? he found a. Uh, I feel like he found a cheat code with the beat switches because it don't feel like eighteen songs. It don't feel like a long album because it's always keeping your attention with the beat switches. When I first listened to it, I was like, "God damn, it's a lot of beat switches," but it didn't bother me at all. It didn't bother yeah. me a little. No, not at all. And I, I, I feel like the production first, was super dope. I feel like the first half of the album was like. I, I feel like it could have been maybe like catered to more of like the radio play, like with pop and all that. Um, but then he kind of starts going into his element as like the tracks keep progressing. Um, they start to slow down a bit, you know, and they start to get more intimate. Um, but yeah, man, like it's, it's, I mean, there's nothing much I could, nothing negative I can say about it. So yeah, uh, really well done. Jason, what'd you think? Yeah. So not yet. Uh, I think he's pretty much said everything. Uh, (laughs) um, yeah, I really appreciated like all the B switches, switch ups. It was really hard for me to pinpoint because you know you're just listening to. I was getting some jumpers up and playing golf, just letting it slide, and I would try to go back to songs. I would find myself not being able to find the song that that I was feeling because it was a switch up. It was in the middle of the song, so there were a few times where I'm looking at the track list. I'm like, damn, it's only 18. Like, it feel like there was more more tracks on there. Like uh like and the switch ups were kind of like the the way he would blend them it, like the beats would completely contrast each other. They be Yeah, they were very them. very different. Yep. Yeah, like on Lovebirds. Yep. On Lovebirds it was like start off smooth with Lance Ski Walker to sample, you know what I'm saying? And then boom. We chopping and chopping and chopping boom 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 and then he found a way to rescue it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, is it Lance Skywalker or Skywalker? Oh, the, the, I see a three eyes. I try to put the Skywalker. <laughs> like, like Skywalker, you know. So I go let us know. <laughs> hey, so way to go, Curry. Hey, let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm reading. Nigga, that's Skywalker. I don't say Skywalker. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, and then he cut just the way they were able to round that out. I love, I love his cadences. His cadences are fucking crazy. They always got the bounce. It's always some shit that you ain't never really heard. And uh, just rounding it out, like still keeping it gritty and jiggy, even on the smooth shit. There wasn't much drums. There wasn't much drums, like crazy drums on a lot of these songs. And his voice was still like a kick, like a kick in the snare. They were still they were still driving heavy on. A, I just really appreciate it as an artist. Like I, I got a lot of inspiration from it. Just how he's uh, just so innovative. He was real innovative with these cadences, but yeah, the switch ups was was really was really dope. It felt like more than eighteen songs for sure. Yeah, it did. So it did for me. Um, I actually, I think um, I don't know. I feel like I wanted one more song that was like pop. If I have to like nitpick at something. Cause like Eddie said, I don't think there's anything that's like at par or below par on this album. But if I have to <laughs> pick anything, I want I wanted one more pop, like one more that was like super aggressive, beats aggressive, your cadence is aggressive, your voice is aggressive, lyrics aggressive, all that shit. But um, I mean, pop does it. I always run that shit back, um, and then like- everything else gets really really introspective. I felt like pop was the one song like I felt like he put it on there just to put like like for somebody who would want that. You know what I mean? That was the one song where I'm like 
oh no, this one belong here. Like, <laughs> like, like you know, what I mean? with this, with the rest of the album. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Like, with not, the rest not, of the album. Not, yeah, not dimming it's light or nothing. I'm just like, huh? It's you funny if you could just pop. Talk. Pop is like actually my one of my least favorite songs on there. I'm really? like, not that, not that I don't yeah. like it. It's just like to me, it kind of came off as whatever, you know. I, there's so many songs on that album that I like more than pop. Like mm-hmm. it, it'll that's to me, to me personally, when I say like amazing, great and good, like pop is like a good song for me, you know, but it's very different than the rest of the album. That's for sure. But I bet you pop is going to show up a lot on TV. No, it is. So up in the movies, like that song is, is still like, it's a set. That's what, song. That's what yeah. I said. I think like the first half of the album is meant for like almost in a sense radio play. And then it starts to, the album in a sense almost kind of starts to mellow out. And then towards the end, it'll start to pick back up. But like you get like reminders in the middle of the album of the beat switches, like how hard he goes. It's like a little reminder. Yeah. But then like, I feel like the transparency of the song in general in the middle of the album is a little bit more melodic mm-hmm. uh, and then he'll pick it back up. So, but that's, that's mainly why it kind of, kind of takes you on like a little mini ride, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of the song. It's like, dun, 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 dun. like I fucked that bitch. I'm going to fuck that bitch. Like I fuck. He's oh, that's first. Bitch first. Talking about first. first. I think. Is it? I was the first one fucking that bitch. I'm yeah. Like, that Yo, yeah. the way, when the flute come in, yeah like was that cooties see that's what i'm saying yeah. it's so hard it's so hard <laughs> see, this, this is you no know, it, it, no it's hard it's hard because like it's a lot of songs and like it's a lot of songs and we still haven't like we're we're listening to the songs like we still haven't like okay this is the name of the song this name goes with this you know because so, yeah. yeah. there's so many like, beats which is like jason was saying they're so different it's hard to put the name on the song unless you. I've listened yeah. to it like shit. I don't know more than ten times now. I have. I have. And still yeah, yeah. It's still. It's start. It's still hard to attach the the song name to the beats and and like the shit that he sang because everything transitions so smoothly as well. Yeah. Like Eddie was saying earlier, I think that it's kind of difficult to to you know, for your mind to be like, okay, this is where this stops and this is where this begins. Yeah. Yeah. And I love. I just, I love how he still comes with the gangster shit, but through his production, you still see a real knowledge of music and the usage of samples and appreciation for certain shit. There's a place he stays in and just knowing what elements, like it's the smooth, like he, he, he reaches out and like touches all them underground, the hip hop shit. You know what I mean? He the most ill backpack nigga ever. <laughs> nigga, like, <laughs> yeah, he, like, he oh, definitely shit, bro. Yeah. Like, this guy knows his fucking stuff, bro. And it's like he can go with whatever he want to go. Like he can go. Like time killers to me. You yeah. should just go. But I don't like, know if it's just, fair. I, I don't know if it's fair to like this only and I, I guess from art because eddie was like i saw you comparing it to like the earlier work which i know that's what we do but then i was kind of thinking like it's hard to do that when you can't control the shit that someone's going to experience through life you know what i mean and how it's going to translate through that music so it's like it's like do we compare it or do we just see it as like oh all right this is just where he was at right now like this is like it's natural hundred because I'm yeah because I think it's like it's, I think it's like dang I don't know because I was just thinking how great this album was and then when you brought up the older shit it started making me like oh hold on man. but I guess I think this is the only way you can judge like a artist like through like because like again like to me you judge an artist based off like the projects like do you feel do you feel like the artist is advancing or experimenting new things like the the only reason of course like he's in a completely different place than when he did oxymoron but like like it's only natural to compare like like damn this album lived up to the hype like you know what oxymoron brought like damn like this mm-hmm. this this motherfucker still got it you get what i'm saying because if yeah. this album is like a complete like you know then like man it's just his old shit that's better his new shit it just ain't smack it you mm-hmm. know um, but like to me, the fact that I have to like 
the fact that the only reason I like Oxymoron over Blue Lips is because of the features just goes to show me that like this motherfucker is still spitting and this motherfucker is still growing and I next time he announces a new album guess what I'm gonna be excited because last year he dropped I was it was fucking lit you know yeah. so that's yeah, that's my yeah. only, that's the only thing yeah, I yeah. feel like it's more fair to compare an artist versus themselves too because like I, I don't really like comparing, like, for example, like a schoolboy Q versus throwing a name out there, Drake, or uh, even like a Freddie Gibbs was on the album. I don't like comparing that because, like you said, it could be in different times or experimenting or, you know, people could be in different mindsets or just make different types of music. We in a time where rap has more subgenres than I think any other genre has probably ever had. So... I mean, I think going back to it being just natural to just say, oh, this might be the best Cool Boy Q album or comparing it to other ones. Um, I think the most fair approach is to uh, compare it to an artist's past work. Even if it's been fucking 10, 20 years. And please, please give Freddie Gibbs his flowers, bro. He's fucking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jason's actually the one that put me on Freddie. A lot that it shit. It's been a long time, but uh, yeah, Freddie's he's never missed to me with his projects. Um, but yeah, Freddie for sure. I feel like he's getting his flowers a little bit more now. Yeah, I love Freddie, man. He still some man. action packed yeah. cadences, man. Yeah, he's on a tear. He's on a tear. So other than I know Eddie said he was kind of. He thought Oxymoron's features were better. What did you think about Schoolboy on this versus Schoolboy on Oxymoron taking the features out of it? He probably, I mean, I, I don't know, honestly. I don't know what the game plan was with, you know, with uh, making this album. I mean, per th there's a, a bunch of stuff he that could have gone either way. Like, in his mind, he could have been like, okay, uh, like let's keep td off i mean even though absol was on it but like let's just like make this like my own album like my you know yeah. i don't i don't know to be honest that question is so like it's so it's 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 a question that could go in many di different directions i don't know the thought process on putting this album together but i mean because there are features you know but there's just like not the features that one probably expected you know i would have loved to hear her, her j-rock on this album like mm. percent man. wait did he did he already drop or is he still going to drop he's still scheduled to drop okay so like like to me to me like this would have been a perfect segue to to like remind folks it's almost like self-advertisement you know um you know so i would have loved to heard if there was one if there's one td artist i would have loved to hurt here on this album 100 percent, it would have been j-rock you know um so i don't know maybe that's not the route he was going for you know yeah, I don't know. Maybe we get a maybe we get a pop remix or a pop extended okay. version with J Rock. But even then, but even then, let's say we don't get any of that stuff. Like, no, no, this is still such a great album. It's just like I'm. It's right now. It's almost like nitpicking, you know. Like yeah, you can't have sure. J Rock on yeah. every single album. You get what I'm saying? So like, yeah, it's just it's just me being try me being greedy in a sense, you know. Yeah, this is just me yeah. as a fan talking not I was like, just about to say Eddie yeah. is selfish right now you like not not yeah. not like, <laughs> That's not like analytical not like analytical but this is just me as like a fan perspective talking yeah. you know because he said I didn't get no J Rock if, <laughs> if you if you fuck if you fuck with like schoolboy and all them then you fuck with like T D you know so like that if that would have been good but I don't know what the whole mind the, or the thought process behind the buildup of this album so it's it's good how it is you know it's solo season. Everybody just want to want to stand on their own right now. You know what I love about TDE too is these motherfuckers still love the craft. Mm -hmm. As much like fame and shit, like the fame has gotten to them zero. All of them. Every time they drop, like they are wrapping their ass off. They might be experimenting or something, but they don't they don't ever short the the fans as far as like the craft of hip hop goes. And I, I think that's where a lot of the respect comes from, at least for me. But uh, you know, you when you when one of them are dropping, especially the the main ones, the the Absol, the the Schoolboy, the J Rock, even Isaiah Rashad, you know, 
they're going to be rapping their ass off and they're going to try their best to create um, an atmosphere for that album too. They they never short anything on their albums. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this album, he goes on tour, he keeps the momentum going with Blue Lips. Like, go, yeah. go on tour, you know, do your, keep the momentum alive, you know. I hope, I hope that happens. I hope it's not just like, like, you know, it drops and then like in a month it just like dies down. No, I, I feel like a tour is definitely gonna happen with somebody. I mean, as big as Schoolboy is, I feel like that's a given. I feel like there's more tour. coming too. You a think deluxe. he got more music? A deluxe, bro. Dog, that'd be fire. Even when he say like I'm back in love with this shit, dog, like Bro, a deluxe. A deluxe gotta happen. Yeah. I feel like a couple of remixes might happen too. You know how they do that shit. shit they shit fuck around with it. Yeah, fuck around and have a Black Hebe remix or some shit uh, after. But they, they also have the compilation album too coming. So we're definitely going to hear more from him um, yeah. and the rest of them mm -hmm. this year, supposedly. We'll see. Because that's supposed to be the last release of the year. So A compilation album and a feature with Kendrick T and Baby T Keith? Yeah. So I, I hope. PG Lang. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I hope to see them keep working together for sure. And then in the year, and then in a year, a TD PG Lang tour. <laughs> oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm being a fan right now. <laughs> he said, oh. Yeah, that'll I'm be crazy. Uh, that'll be crazy. Did y'all have any? Hey, uh, uh, Baby Keem's supposed to drop too, huh? Yeah. He's been posting a lot about um, new music and stuff, so I think we'll probably see him this year too. Man, this this Blue Lips was a dope ass album, bro. Fire, yeah. I th I think it's uh, I think it'll hold up well too, like throughout the year for a lot of because a lot of these releases in the beginning of the year when people do like the the album of the year list and stuff, it always gets recency bias. Always kind of knocks it. I think it'll hold up. It'll hold up. It'll. it'll, it'll It'll hold it'll up be for high on a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it'll high, be high on a lot of people's end of the year list for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's so many things I feel like like they can push with this. Like, I mean, man, like you you got it. You got to get the tour announced soon. Um, they already got a couple visuals for the songs. Like, you're in one Yeah, his rollout was dope. Yeah, his like, rollout was dope. His rollout was all visuals. I think, was I think we dope. need. I think we need more music videos on this album. That's a hundred percent. I don't know if it'll happen because I don't know how much emphasis labels put on music videos nowadays. Because you know, making a music video costs a lot of money, and you know, if 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 the artist isn't selling how they expect, like, what's the point of like you know rolling out videos? But I think sometimes you have to spend money to get the recognition, and if you could put out some videos then like more eyes will be on the album yeah that's the hey i think i saw some visuals i don't know if it was like a snippet or a longer visual or if it was just promo or whatever the case may be but uh thank god for me i think that was like the lights but he's like oh, like, like thank god for like me. he was like the perfect he's the perfect artist on tde to like really push in the forefront because he, he's kind of like a reserved individual and he's kind of like kind of like how can i say this like socially reserved but what he wants to he can have that charisma like mm -hmm. to like really go out there and like push his name out there and, and and do music videos and do appearances and stuff like that like he's like i think out of all the td artists like even to me, in my mind, more so than SZA, but like, but because Schoolboy has that personality where he can really, like, be charismatic, you know, and and really like show what the artistry is all about. So I, hope I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait to see the golf videos. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. That's gonna yeah. be so dope. I, I completely. He's, he's about, about a different that. type of star power for sure. Yeah, oh, no. top five. Let me uh let me read y'all one of like one one of the lines um in 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 one of the lines um uh blue blue slides um he, he says 
I done broke down so many times. Next time it's going to catch me. I done helped out so many people. They took me for granted. I done lost out so much shit trying to live to your standards. I done, di I done made problems. My problems now I barely can't breathe. Like, that's what I mean. Like, where he gets, like, really interpersonal, you know? Like, yeah. Um, that's what I love about this album, you know? There's, like, there's, there's switches into how he's feeling, you know? So. That's um, why I call him the most gangster backpack rapper ever. Because it's stuff like that where he can go into a different bag like he's that that shows his talent and like that also yeah. shows his his kind of like love for pure hip-hop too like what i was uh talking about earlier because most gangster rappers are just trying to stick to gangster rap and they just trying to say the craziest shit ever like even i don't know i don't want to throw no names out there but there's no there's nobody else that's and that can go like on pop and then do like what you just spit right there. I think he's very, um, very unique in the game. And I think that's why he has the stay in power. Like we were just talking about. Yeah, man. Did you have a top five? <clears throat> top five. Oh my gosh. Not really, nigga. Like it's stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's a, <laughs> like that's why I ask. Cause he, you got a top five. Not really. Like not like really. part one of, yeah. of of this mixing with Hilly. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all right, hold on. That's fired up. I'll give you yeah. hey, like, that you can't pick a top five because of the I'll give, sound is so fire. Yeah. I'll give you yeah. I'll give you a top five just like I didn't like rate them, but I'll give you a top five. Like, okay, so I got is that how you say it? Fo F O U X Fo. Yeah. Okay. I got Fo number one. I got Ohio number two. That's so hard that those songs are back to back. By the way, just had to put it out there. Yeah. So Fo number one, Ohio number two, Time Killers number three, Germany eighty six number number four, and Blue Slides number five. That's my top five. Yeah. And that's off the Dome Skis right there, bro. Yeah, yeah. I definitely. I to me, Time Killers is my favorite. I I tweeted out. Um, I wasn't seeing enough love for uh, time killers. On my hey, Foe's Fo not in your top five, bro? Foe is not in my top five. Uh, but, but I respect it. I respect it. Um, uh, it's it's definitely a great song. Like, it's just it's just right outside the top five. That's it. I mean, for me, Cooties is good too. Hello, fan. That's kind of crazy. Wait, but, so what's your top five then? Uh, my top five. If I'm, if I'm just kind of like shooting from the hip too, um, time killers for sure. Okay, I run like every time I hear that song, I run that shit back. Um, I really fuck with Lovebirds. I fuck with Ohio. Um, okay. looking at the track list, I want to say Pig Feet. Pig Feet. I think Pig Feet guy for me i think that's my five and then i, I think foe is probably like right at six like it could even be in the top five I, that's just me shooting from the hip though god damn it uh we're gonna go thank god for me we're gonna do first this is fucked up yeah. Time time killers. <laughs> time killers. Uh well Sean said love birds, so I can do so I'll substitute see fuck. No, bro. If you like oh, love birds, put it in. I'm trying to be different too hard. Love birds. <laughs> no, I'm not. He <laughs> said Sean <laughs> have love birds. <laughs> I'm trying to add, I'm trying to spread variety in the album. Nah, because you know what's funny? Because you know, because this is a perfect time to figure out which out of each three top fives, which which songs intermingle with, with our three. Yeah, right. Because then, cause then look, kill, killer, right, time killers. All three of us have said time time killers is is, is in our top five. So that's got to be a like a number one song right there. Uh mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Time killer. That's it. That's the one. Yeah. I think they Ohio, I think they got me yeah. is is probably um one of those ones where like it, there's a bigger consensus that people would like. Mm -hmm. I think thank God for me is like the one like that that's a single. 
I'm so surprised Sean didn't pick Germany 86. This is like a, this is like- I a, love uh, Germany 86 this, too. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is, hey, Germany that is a, that's a Sean it's, track it's for like sure. A, it's like a prototypical Sean Grant song, literally. Yeah, like yeah. from- Yeah, the set with all the other- I'm so shocked <laughs> that song number, like in his top five. That's got Sean Wren all over it. Yeah, it do. It do. It do. It's up there too. With the with the capital H in it, bro. Like, man. <laughs> oh, well, it just goes to show you how versatile this album is, though. Yeah. You know what? That's that's perfect right there. This album is the most versatile album I have heard in a fair minute. A very long time. Like, like. Even more, yes. even more than Travis Scott, Utopia, because mm -hmm. I expect this from Travis Scott. I have yeah. these kind of weird beats, but like this album, I kid you not, I can't remember a time where I listened to an album that is just hell. The the versatility on it is just crazy to me. Yeah, I, I definitely gotta agree because, like you said, is that uh, it, like even comparing it to Travis Scott is kind of um kind of crazy but travis on utopia did what we thought travis would do exactly we didn't travis know we didn't know exactly what the sound was gonna be but you you know you well, we saw it in astral world we saw this kind mm -hmm. of loki in astral world and he yeah. just went on utopia and did kind of the same Boy, thing never like, like a, this. to like a second degree whereas yeah. this is like yeah i don't even know how to explain it to be honest it, I, I can't remember a time where i've listened to a song or an album that's uh, with the versatility of it. Yeah, that's for sure. Now, I'm I, think, I feel like, Go ahead. I feel like the, uh, no, I, I was going to say, I feel like the difference is the the beat selection. Because like I was saying earlier, I feel like Schoolboy is that unique of, um, of a rapper and the beats actually kind of reflect the way that he can switch up his style and and switch up the lyrics and the content and stuff like that. I feel like this is the first time where his production selection actually reflects that as well um, with the lyrics too. And who produced this? Who who are some big name producers on this? It's a lot. I know Alchemist was on there. I know. Um, hold on. Give me some, yeah, give me some big credits. time. Give me some big time producers because I know I know yeah. none of the producers on them because the Apple Music doesn't tell you. They don't. Um, yeah, Apple Music right don't now. tell you none of that, huh? Oh, I got you. Really don't. I'll trip. Title. Title. Like, see, hey, hey, drop a producer, and me and Jason have to guess which song they produced. That's fire. Okay, we could do that. All right, let's just start. Let's start with Alchemist then. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is gonna be. Oh man, is not. I, I, I low key think that is not what y'all gonna think too. Okay, so since you're telling me that, I'm definitely going the opposite direction. Um, I'm gonna say Alchemist produced Cooties. No, since damn, Jason will probably get this. Though. Jason, what you got? Jason, uh, okay. it's it 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 is an Alchemist beat though, but it's just on, I don't what think y'all gonna get it. I no, I don't think you're gonna get it. I don't think it's okay. what y'all think it's gonna be. That guy for me. No. What is Last it? Time. Last wow. time. That was going to be my next yeah. one. You lied. Yeah. You lied, bro. You lied. <laughs> okay. All right, Cal Banks. Cal Banks is on here. Fuck, bro. I have no idea, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cal Banks. That, and that's what I, I like because there's a lot of different uh, producers. Cal okay, but... fine. Cal Banks. Thank God for me. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You shouldn't have said. I, you shouldn't have said. Like you should have asked, we should have asked Jason about that one. Nah, that's cool. Because I'll. Okay, so Kyle Banks, thank thank God for me. Yeah, yeah. All right, Johnny Giuliano. Oh, Fucker! Wow. Uh, don't don't say don't say if I got it right. All right, I'm gonna say pig feet. Johnny G. Okay, with Jason, what you got? Uh, back in love. All right, so. I'm gonna give y'all one more shot because he's on he's on both of these that I just pulled up right now. So both of y'all, I'm not I'm not gonna say if y'all right or wrong yet, but uh, give me one more for Johnny Giuliano. Okay, if you're saying that, I'm gonna say. Uh, you said he's on both, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say 
He's <laughs> trying to play it. I'm gonna say he really tried to cheat. Hey, I'm gonna say pop and cooties. All right, Jason, what you got? I'm gonna say pop and cooties. Okay, I'm gonna say pop and love and cooties. No. Uh, so it's, it's Yearn and what was the second one I pulled up? I think it was Ohio. Hold on. Yeah, Yearn in Ohio. Hey, I could see Yearn. Yeah. I could for yeah. sure. With Johnny see Giuliani. Yeah, it, it kind of does sound like it. And then Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Ohio, I'm, I'm trying to think of all the switch ups. Because the switch ups is throwing me off. Like, I, you can't go off of how it's starting. And it's a very really yeah. start. Yeah. It's, it's impossible. It's, okay. it's difficult. But. That's that's the that's the beauty of this album for sure. Who hey, tell me, tell me it was just fucking good on the beat. Who produced pop? Who produced that? Pop, let's see. Uh pulling the Um, so Mario Luciano and Tay Beats is listed first. Cal Banks also has some production credit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's a couple of these that have multiple producers on there, so I'm guessing. Um, yeah. Hey, I feel, I feel Mario like Luciano is the one that kind of pops up a lot in the multiple producers. I, I'm not sure who that is, but he fucking did his thing. Oh, and I also feel like this is like, it is like challenging production to like keep up with the times, but at the same time, keep keep the artists' like how how can i say this it's forcing production to advance but at the same time being true to the artist though because you don't want to put like a fucking travis scott switch up beat with with schoolboy you know like yeah. if the switch up is gonna if you're gonna do a switch up like that like which is now what th this is kind of like the era that we are in music where like it's almost like people's ears get lazy and so you try to kind of catch them off guard with like the beat switch to kind of engage their interests again, you know, but like mm -hmm. if you do it, if you do it to like a, to like a degree that doesn't fit the artist's like nature and it's just not going to work. So that's why I also think like this album is like so well done because they did that in with, with being mindful of who Q is, you know, like yeah. he's still that, he's still that gangster gritty rapper, but at the same time with that, you know, soul, soulful style, you know? So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think it's also challenging producers, not just the artists too. Yeah. I, this is the, this production team. They killed this shit. They killed this shit. This is more yeah. than better produce albums in, in a while too. Yeah. Just like you were saying, like keeping the attention and stuff like that. I just think the details and the production is, um, that's a, a shining point of the album as well. Tay Beats all over this shit too. Yeah, Tay Beats is all over it. Uh, Mario Luciano, uh, Art is all over it. Yeah, they did their thing. That's for sure. Y'all got any last words before we wrap up the review or the discussion? I mean, what else is there to say, man? I feel like well played, well done. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a re revive of. Uh, of TD rap, even though I, I know SZA came out already and she did her thing though. Well, but I don't downplay her but, either. But you know, you know, yeah. Yeah. you know, we, you know, we fuck with SZA. Hey, you know, we fuck with SZA, but at the same time, us gentlemen need one of these male TD artists to like come, like bring it back. You feel me? We fuck with SZA. She's an icon, but like we need one of these J Rock, Ab, Q. We need them. We need them in our in our ears lives. You feel me? Yeah. That, and that J Rock is a the last one. Man. Yeah. Ray Vaughn, man. Yeah, for sure. Ray Vaughn, Ray Vaughn. He just hasn't he just hasn't had his chance to do it in the album format yet. They're gonna treat him like reason, bro. They're gonna treat him like reason. They go reason and reason and Abso are definitely delivered. I like I think what Eddie is trying to say is like Schoolboy is just kind of on another level as far as like stardom. 
Yeah, he's 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 a, he's a kid or caliber. He's, he's a hundred oh, yeah, percent. He's, he's a different. It's a different. Uh, hundred percent. Different I've, level. I've been saying this, bro. He has, if not more charisma than Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick yeah. is. He's, he's got Kendrick, the star power. Kendrick is just a star because he his his pen is just on a different galaxy in a different universe. Mm -hmm. Like Q's pen isn't like that, but it's up there. But it is. That's what I'm saying. Hughes' it's, pan is up there, no but his charisma point. is also above Kendrick's to me. Yeah. Yeah, Hughes, his, his charisma low-key got, like, unlimited potential. 